Hey guys, how you doing? It's Tabby Tate here and I'm going to bring you a special video today where I'm going to wingsuit up this mountain. Now I'm not recording commentary live, I'm doing this afterwards because I was concentrating super hard. Now I've seen a lot of people parachute gliding up the mountain and I think that's kind of easy. The mechanics in this make parachute gliding a lot easier than in Just Cause 2. You get a lot of lift after you reach sort of horizontal position and you can actually sort of propel yourself miles in the air. When it comes to wingsuiting, wingsuiting is a lot more like uh, sort of parachuting in Just Cause 2 but it's a little bit more unforgiving because the physics are yeah, if you lose momentum, you're kind of you're gonna mess up, you're kind of fucked. So I'm going to wingsuit all the way up this mountain. And now, I've never actually been up the top of this mountain before this particular attempt. And to prove it, I didn't even go up to make sure that the achievement wasn't triggered. So the route that I'm taking here is not one that I've practiced or anything because I'd never done it before <laughs> uh, and I'm actually I'm quite good at wingsuiting because I've done a lot of the courses and I've practiced quite a lot and I think I've got an aptitude for it because you know I've got experience with Just Cause in the past I've played Just Cause 2 to death <laughs> uh, but yeah you can see here I'm kind of losing losing sort of sort of coordination I'm not sure where I'm going so I actually start to dive a little bit to maintain speed and then I'm using the grapple release technique in order to get up the top and then boom use a little bit of slingshot in order to get over that ridge and <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me there but I was told my heart was pounding through the whole of this I think it takes about 5-6 minutes to get to the top I'm sure I could do a speed run where I could do it in probably 3-4 minutes because uh, I do spend a lot of time meandering around and then ju it's just because I really want to make it on one attempt without, without spending ages trying it over and over and over again. Now I did actually uh, sort of scout the area in advance and I realised that I would have to unlock a lot of things. Uh, this area in particular, this particular base with the nukes that whole area of sort of surrounding it, there's a massive radius. If you go anywhere near it, even in wingsuit, you're going to get nuked. So I had to go through the story missions and liberate it and stuff in order to make that a sort of safe zone. <laughs> now, it's not exactly a world record attempt when it comes to speed, as I've said, and the main reasons for that are it's the first attempt going up, so I spiral around it in order to keep it safe, and I also don't use the L2. Uh, sort of reel in effect which would be much faster uh, but there's also a risk there of face planning so I avoided that as much as possible. There is, an, there is a sort of bit towards the end here where uh, I, I just kind of lose patience and just decide to go for it. Uh, it was risky business but yeah we'll get to that in time. I don't know if you can tell here, but I'm really frustrated with the whole distance thing. I feel like I can sort of reach the grapple sort of before I actually get there. And it's just it's so frustrating to think that you could just do with just a little bit extra distance. And yeah, I used the L2 thing effect there and yeah, because I knew there was a big huge gap underneath. And on a ridge you're kinda safe as long as you're as long as you have enough momentum. You can hear me breathe in there, like I was properly shying myself the whole way through this. I was very, very happy to get it on the first attempt, actually. It, but it just proves a point, wingsuiting isn't that hard once you get the hang of it. You know, if I can wingsuit up a bloody mountain, then yeah, then you can pretty much do anything with it with practice, I reckon. Yeah, because it's, it's entirely predictable. It's just as difficult. A lot of people have been complaining about the wingsuit courses. Uh, I'm going to try and maybe do the wingsuit courses without any breaks, like the Maxim Tour. Uh, I nearly completed that without breaks one time, so I'll need to spend a bit of time on that. A lot of the reasons why I haven't done these kind of videos is because I've been crashing, but because I can commit a huge amount of time to recording, without the game crashing, it makes me a lot more confident about doing these kind of things, so it's, it's within the realms of, yeah, I think it is within the realms of possibility. And here we go, here we go. This is, this is where I just lose patience to just decide to wingsuit climb. 
And that's where you just grapple release. And you've got to just keep momentum, keep momentum, keep momentum. It's all about the rhythm. And you see there, that as soon as I hit the crest, I was using the reel in. And I'm miles above the mountains now. Absolutely miles above them. Now, I wanted to make sure I wingsuited all the way to the top. I didn't want to use parachute at all. So I've got a wingsuit in now, spot the target, and then reel in without face planting. Because, <laughs> yeah, that would have been embarrassing. You can see I've got the achievement down the bottom corner just to prove that I've never been there before. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.